jam, the slam, whatever you call it, thank this guy for making it possible. My name is Arthur Errett. I'm the inventor of the breakaway basketball rim. The small town of Verdon seems far away from basketball's big stage, and Errett himself? For our free throws, he always did this way. Isn't the house's biggest hoops junkie? Well, I watch to see who they're, who's going to win and who I want to root for. She, she knows more about basketball than I do. But the game Mary Errett watches today wouldn't be the same without her husband. You see, in the early 70s, Errett's nephew, a basketball coach, said to his handyman uncle, We ought to have a better basketball rim. So I said, well, maybe think about that. And the long time, say 29 years, grain elevator manager went to work. Now, this is my first rim for me to look at to think how I could make it flex with a slam dunk so they didn't break the backboard. Oh! Send it in, Jerome! Well, most backboards. Nonetheless, he was resourceful with this box. It'll make a noise of odds and ends. And that cheap basketball hoop? $20. Got a makeover. I work probably 70 hours a week, and this had to be after work. With a John Deere cultivator spring, it goes right down there. And... A few bolts, and some Midwest sensibility, he created a revolutionary rim. When it yielded, come down, it would compress this here and reset itself whenever you let loose. Eric's rebounder rim went straight to the show. It made its debut in the 1978 Final Four in St. Louis. Around the same time, Eric showed off his rims to legendary coaches. The initial impression wasn't great. I was standing about 10 feet, kind of looking down there to see how things were going. And uh, John Wooden said, they got to take both rims down there, both broke. Coach Wooden eventually figured it out, and later in 1982, he was granted the patent on the movable rim. 4,365,802. Even after it expired in 99, well, he still made out okay. At least I had enough to send five kids through college, maybe help them buy a car, and have a little leftover. Today, he makes time to watch a game or two. I look for the slam dunk. And will tell his story to anyone listening. Actually, today's rim, or not far, Basically, the foundation is the first rim that I did. So for every slam you see, remember Arthur Errett's big grin. His small project allowed players to fly, making him the slam dunk's unexpected savior. In Verdon, Austin Kim, WCIA, 3 Sports.